Hi everybody, I just wanted to give a heads up to everyone, particularly parents and grandparents. This is really important to know about. Students practice calligraphy by writing, there is no God but Allah. Okay, let's go on down here. There's a picture of it there. It's talking about these kids in a Staunton, Virginia uh, high school class, River, Riverheads High, I think it said. And in the ca calligraphy class, they're having to copy down the the uh, Islamic statement of faith. You know, the Riverheads High School calligraphy assignment. That was their assignment. Okay, they're having to write a Virginia school district had to write uh, the Muslim statement of faith. There is no God but Allah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. And the female students at the high school were also invited to wear Muslim clothing. Okay, no matter what, how they try to get out of this, this is indoctrination, pure and simple. Okay, the school district convened a meeting on December 11th to discuss the assignment with outraged parents. Okay. Okay, here's their excuse they're trying to come up with. Neither these lessons nor any other lesson in the World Geography course or an attempt at indoctrination, right, <laughs> to Islam or any other religion or a request for students to renounce their own faith or profess any belief. The district said in a statement provided to Fox News, the Muslim-friendly calligraphy assignment took place in the geography class. They had to copy the statement of faith, Muslim statement of faith. Okay, the, the statement presented as an example of the calligra calligraphy was not translated for students, nor were students asked to translate it, recite it, or otherwise adopt or pronounce it as a personal belief, the district stated. Yes, but you're indoctrinating those kids. They said it was all about the art. Sure, not about the theology. They're indoctrinating. Don't be fooled, parents. Don't be fooled. They, Satan wants your children. Satan wants your children. They're working at indoctrinating them into the gay lifestyle. They're in working at indoctrinating them into the Islamic faith. I tell you, I first, I first found out about this on uh, Pastor Ricky Scaparo did a video and was talking about a lot of things, and this was in it. And he said, boy, if his kid was in that school, he would be homeschooling as of yesterday. Don't be fooled, guys by the excuses they come up with. Like it says here, okay, they were simply asked to attempt to artistically render written Arabic in order to understand its artistic complexity. Okay, they're just coming up with excuses. That's a bunch of baloney. They're coming up with excuses. Out of sheer coincidence, out of all the Arabic words and phrases, the teachers could have selected. She picked the Islamic statement of faith. Amen. If they wanted to let them copy Arabic words, they could have let them copy a lot of other ones. They didn't have to choose the Muslim statement of faith. So don't be fooled. Okay, and what about having the female students dressing up in Islamic garb? Is that consistent with the state mandates too? Okay, they're inviting these uh, young female students to dress up in the Islamic apparel here. They were taught about the modest dress adopted by many in the Islamic faith and were invited to try on a scarf as a part of an interactive lesson about the Islamic concept of modest dress. 
indoctrination, indoctrination, indoctrination. The scarf used in the activity was not an actual Islamic religious hijab, however you say that, <laughs> the district stated. Doesn't matter, still teaching them to, uh, you know, priming them and prepping them for Sharia law and the Muslim faith. Doesn't matter, don't believe their excuses, do not fall for it. Be not deceived in the last days here. The Bible says, be not deceived. They claim they cover other religions. However, one parent said that while the Quran was presented to students, the Bible was not. The teacher reportedly declined to provide a Bible because all the students have either read or seen a Bible. Excuses, excuses. I like the final word of this writer. I, I like him, whoever wrote this. Perhaps the next time the kids at Riverheads High School practice their calligraphy skills, they can learn a new word, indoctrination. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. Amen. That's exactly what this is, and you need to be aware of it. And I'm with Pastor... Pastor Ricky Scaparo, okay, I don't have a school-aged child. My children are grown. My, my child is grown. Um, so I don't have any kids in school. But if I did, I would yank them right out of there. I would because this is not, don't think this is the only thing. There's so many things going on in schools. There have been books written for preschoolers, preschoolers, tiny tots that are indoctrinating them into the the uh, homosexual lifestyle. There's some book that came out for preschoolers like a year or so ago, and the mommy and daddy characters in the, the, in the uh, book were a mommy and a mommy, not a mommy and a daddy. Okay, Satan wants your children and they are being indoctrinated on so many levels, it is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And you need to know what's going on in your school. Lots of things are going on in school. That common core is not good. And there's a lot of things going on in school. And this is just an example. This is just one example. So beware, parents. I just did this so that you'll be aware of what's happening, they're being indoctrinated. Okay, God bless you guys.